Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will talk about the amazing features of the Astra theme. One of the best themes for WordPress. There's a free version that has a lot of capabilities, but there are also premium upgrades and in this video series I will cover every topic. If you want to get one of the premium packages of the Astra theme, you can go to ferdycorp.com forward slash Astra. This is an affiliate link, so when you buy this through my link I get a commission, so thank you for that. Then you can choose a package and click on get started. You can pay with credit card or PayPal. Then you can download all the premium plugins, upload them to your website, activate them, and then through these tutorials, I will show you step by step how all the premium plugins work. If you like what you're seeing so far, please like this video. And if you want to see more upcoming videos, please consider to subscribe and click on the bell notification so you'll get an update when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. In this video, we will take a look at the mobile header. I click on customize, hold command or control. So I open it in a new tab. Over here, I go to the back end to appearance, extra options. And you see over here, mobile header, it's not activated yet. So if I go to layout, header, primary header, you see a few options, but there are a lot more with the mobile header. So I activate it. I close it, I refresh the page and I go to layout, header and I go to site identity. In the tutorial of the free version of Elementor, I used an orange logo for a mobile to show you what is possible. So if you take a look over here on the smartphone, you see it over here. I want to remove this so I can use the normal logo, but you can use a different logo for your mobile. So if I would choose this one, it looks like this also on a smartphone, but if I go to a normal screen, you see this logo. So what I prefer to do right now is bring the logo to the left and the menu to the right. In order to do that, I go back, I go to primary header, I scroll down and here I change the mobile header alignment to left and right. Okay. Then I go back to site identity and I want to remove this logo. I think this is too big. But with the pro version, you can make it smaller. Something like this. I like it. And for the rest, everything is the same as with the free version. So I go back and I go to the primary header. And here are a lot of options. So I scroll down a bit. And here is the mobile header. Where is the breakpoint? Well, let me show you. I publish it. Let me show you. I bring back this over here. And if I make the screen smaller, you see all of a sudden it becomes a menu. Well, I can change that breakpoint. So if I would say 640, you'll still see the menu. If I make it smaller, it looks a little bit weird. So if I make this number bigger, 800, you can change the breakpoint. So when do we want the menu to change? Well, I don't like this, so I probably should say 900. So. If I make it bigger, then here's the breakpoint. And that's great because there's enough space between the logo and the menu. So I leave it at 900, but it's handy that you can change it yourself. If I go back to the tablet view, right now, if I click over here, it looks like this with a sub menu and I can change it to a link. And to be honest, I have no idea what the difference is. If you know, please let me know. I use the icon. Then we have the menu style. Normally we, we use this one, but with the pro version, you can say fly out. So it comes like that. And then we need to adjust the colors, of course. The full screen. Then we should have a background attached. And the no toggle. So it will be a menu like this. I leave it at drop down and then we can change the toggle button color. So if I make it red, it is red. So you can create your own color there. Then we have the border radius. If I would say five, you see a nice border. I don't need that. So I say bring it back like that. Then we have the menu label. I'd like to say menu because of the thumbs of people especially when you go to a smartphone. If you don't have anything here, they need to click on this area. I like them to 
have a bigger area to click. So I say menu. We can have it on top of each other or a side. If I open the menu, I can have a big border everywhere like that. If you want that, you can do that. I don't need that. So maybe only on the bottom one like that. The border color, we can change it. And we discussed spacing already. So that's what you can do with the mobile header. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Feel free to like this video and to subscribe for more upcoming videos. And I hope you have a great day and you will see me next time. Bye bye.